Hey, what's up LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. I just want to say big thank you to every single one of you guys. Man, you guys been killing it. So many positive comments. I'm speechless. You guys are rock stars. So enough of this talk. Let's get back into this beauty. In this video, we'll be securing the quarter panel completely, doing all the welds and all the good stuff. Also, we got to repair the door. Pretty much get this car ready for paint. So enough of this talk and let's get back to work. So right now I cut a piece. So I'm gonna put this piece inside of the quarter, inside of this uh, rail. So this way when we put a new quarter, so we could weld it together. So right now I'm gonna do uh, grind this piece up get rid of this black paint so when we do the welding the weld could stick to it easily So now when we do the weld, the weld will stick to it. All right, so we put a metal in here so when we put a new quarter panel it will go along here and then we could weld them together so we'll be using a Porsche rivets they're from Porsche so yeah so we'll use those to uh, secure the quarter Alright, we're gonna secure the quarter panel right now. I got my dad, Ivan, helping me out, giving me an extra hand. So yeah, we're gonna drill everything out and then put the rivets. And then we'll, we'll do weld on the top and the bottom. So yeah, something like this, nice and clean.
I just removed the tire so we have to put I have to drill a bunch of holes around this uh, wheel well and then I'll put a bunch of rivets in there to secure it and I'll drill them in the original spots and let's take a closer look here same with this door jam put a bunch of rivets in the original spots and same over here three rivets here two over here and then two over here so everything looks good and gaps are perfect this gap is awesome and then once I close this same on this side nice and perfect gap Alright, we're finished here. So I end up putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rivets in the original spot. Alright, so we're pretty much finished with the quarter. All the rivets are in. In the doorway. Uh, three rivets here. One, two, three, four, five here. Bunch of under the wheel. Three here and three there. And I put the rivets in the original spots. So the only thing we got left is to do a weld here and weld here and unfortunately we have our welding machine here it's at the other location so we're gonna load up the car on the trailer and uh, drive down there do the welds really quick and come back and start doing the body work so I'll take you guys with me trailer has arrived we'll start loading the Ferrari and go to the other shop, like I said. Alright, so we gotta load the Ferrari up real quick and head to Laguna Niguel Collision. Get the car on the trailer, we'll secure it and head out. All right, we have arrived to our other location. We'll unload this bad boy right now. So, this is our actually, this is our first location, and the one in Laguna Beach that's the second one. So, this is the original. So 
yeah, this is our other location. Let me show you guys around. That's the office. And that's the shop. So this one's a little bit different. This one, just a big old warehouse, open space. So we came here to use this bad boy. And so that's the frame machine, that's the lift. Yeah, pretty big shop. And that's the spray boot. So this is the welding machine. That so we got it all set up. Professional Ivan got this. Easy. There's a thing on the door while we're here we're gonna weld a little piece of metal and pull it out Time to load this bad boy up and head back to Laguna Beach. Alright, back at Laguna Beach location. I'm uh, gonna load the car real quick right now and start working on it. with grinding nice and smooth like baby's butt same over here so we'll put some bondo 
And that's it. Should be good to go. So I'll sand this down a little bit more. And same with this. And apply some bondo. Alright, so I'll be using 80 grip sandpaper to uh, sand this down. And same at the bottom. We're all done, so time to apply the bundle here and here. And then here's the bundle that I use 3M, works the best. And then this is the, the hardener. So yeah, this is it right here. Gonna remove the door handle so we could heat this up and bring it out and make it as straight as possible. And then we'll apply a little bit of bondo. And then to remove this door handle, you just pull it up and then there is a little rubber piece and the screw and it just comes off. So we banged it out as much as we can. It's pretty straight, so the rest we'll just use bondo filler. So I'm gonna send it, send it down to the metal, and then after that we'll just use some bondo filler. But for the most part, it's pretty straight. So we send it down to the metal and it's nice and straight. So we'll apply bondo, straighten it out and it should be good to go. The reason why we're doing this, I think this door is like super expensive, 5,500 bucks. So the door is not too bad. The damage wasn't that severe to change it. So, yep, that's how it's gonna look. So let's go get the bondo and start working.
we're almost finished with the body work door came out nice and clean and then I usually like to use this stuff quick check to see if the body is straight it gives like a glossy look to it like a finished product and you can see from the side make sure it's all straight So now we could put some uh, final glaze and ready for primer. All right, I'm gonna install this rocker molding right now, just to double check, make sure everything lines up pretty good. But so far so good, all my lines are matching. So I gotta check this line with the rocker molding. And then if everything checks out good, I'll do the final, the glaze, and that's it, after primer. Put the glaze and then you mix it with the harner so you mix two of those together and that's the final done with the door so right now I'll just do this one and then this one and we'll be finished ready for primer we're all finished here same over here and then the door so the car is ready for primer and then usually I like to use the 80 grid and then 150 for the final so right now I'm gonna remove this mirror and this molding so we could paint the door took the door apart that's it time to put primer 
All right, guys, we got the Ferrari in the paint department. It's gonna get primer today, and hopefully we'll paint it tomorrow. So let's take a look. So yeah, gonna get primer, then paint tomorrow, hopefully. All right, time for primer. Good old primer. And the door. So we're done with primer. So tomorrow we'll start painting. All right, guys, that's a wrap for part six. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part seven. We'll be prepping the car for paint. I'll record everything. And after that, we'll start putting the car together. So stay tuned. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you guys like the video. If you don't, you know the drill. Sorry sucks to be you. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.